Okay, do you know what the single most important thing to learn on the harmonica is when you get your C harmonica with 10 holes? Uh, what the first thing you should be learning? Well, it's not what you think. It's not playing single notes. It's not playing bends. I don't even care about how you're holding it. The single most important thing to learn right at the beginning is a train rhythm. Okay, so why is that the most important thing to learn? Well, when people start playing harmonica, they tend to have a lot of breathing problems. They generally overinflate, and uh, that's because they're playing too hard. And playing too hard leads, leads to overinflating, which means that you can't play for very long. It leads to nasty sounding harmonica, because you're playing too hard. And uh, it also means that you're going to find it really, really challenging to play more of those cool harmonica techniques, like the bends, or the vibrato, or anything, flutters. It's all much easier if you've got your breathing under control. So learning a train rhythm is going to really help you with that. So I've got a little tab sheet that you can download for this. So if you want to click on the link in the description below, you can get that for free and then come back and watch the rest of the video. Okay, so how do we play this train rhythm? So you're going to take that C harmonica and we're playing holes one, two, and three. So just the bottom three holes of the instrument. That's it. And uh, we're going to start just by playing an inhale, a draw on one, two, three, and then an exhale on one, two, three. So just do that for a few rounds. Make sure that it's sounding sweet. Make sure that it's sounding warm and open and it's not sounding like this. <laughs> if it's sounding like that, then you're playing too hard. So just try and relax and play a little bit more gently. Okay, once that feels comfortable, then try articulating with your tongue by saying some little nonsense syllables that will make it sound like this. That gives you the rhythm. And those nonsense syllables are naka on the in breath, naka, and then tucker on the out breath, tucker. Now, when I get beginners in front of me, they never believe me that I'm actually articulating like that. I'm actually articulating like that, I promise you. So go naka, tucker, naka. Okay, so see if you can do that and make sure that all of your consonants, the k and t, are really, really hard and that's what's giving you that rhythm. Otherwise, you'll get something that sounds a little bit like this. Which is okay, but it's not a really train rhythmy train rhythm. Now, when you try and play this for any length of time, most beginners start to run out of breath. They find that they're over inhaling. That's because they're taking more air in than they're breathing out through the instrument. And there's a little trick for this. The trick is to loosen your lips ever so slightly on the blow chord, on the out breath. So let a little bit of the air dissipate either side of the harmonica. So you get So really get that air to come out. Now, the trick with this, what, what's going to help your breathing in the long term, is if you just let it happen. So play that rhythm for one minute every day for at least a month, maybe a couple of months. And what's going to happen is a couple of things. You're going to learn to relax because you're getting used to the harmonica in general. You're going to hear whether you're playing too hard because it'll sound either uh, thin and nasty or it'll sound open and rich. And you'll get used to the harmonica in your mouth so you'll stop salivating so much. Because I know that a lot of you beginners, 
I was there too, salivate a hell of a lot when you've got the harmonica in your mouth. That's totally normal. It's a foreign object. Your mouth is trying to get rid of it. But if it gets used to it because you're doing it every day, it'll, it'll, it'll stop salivating quite so much. So do that for a minute every day for 28 days, 56 days. Keep it going. Keep it as part of your practice. Uh, don't be tempted to increase the speed just yet. Just do it to get used to the instrument and to practice your breathing and get comfortable. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you want more beginner blues harmonica content, just subscribe, hit the little uh, notification bell. And if you want to learn some more blues harmonica, just click up here for another cool lesson that you can check out. All right, thank you so much for watching. Take it easy. Happy harping.